you have a soul? Can you feel the human emotion? Joy? <laughs> well, you won't after this. It's anime review. Clannad's an anime. We're done here, right? Oh, I have to say more. Oh. It started off as a visual novel, which is basically a date and sim. Where are you going? Clannad follows our protagonist, Tomoya, as he traverses high school just being a normal average guy, yet somehow being the main character because anime. Nothing special about him, just anime. Along the way, he and his buddy, Sunohara, kind of a pervert, teenage, normal teenager guy, they meet up with uh, every girl, every, every girl in the school, every girl just follows them, because anime, mostly Tomoya. These girls include Nagisa, Fuko, Ryo, Kyo, Katome, and Tomoyo, not Tomoya, because they could have just named her Sakura, just ain't the Jill, Steven, just... I have two issues with this anime. One is the dub. Lost track of the time. Hide and seek. The other is the color palette. We have three females with purple hair. Normally that's fine. Two of them are twins. Makes sense. But why three? And why such a distinct color? Why couldn't it be blonde, a redhead, a d brunette, just any anything at all? Well, couldn't make it. Couldn't make it easy, huh? Kyoto Animation couldn't make it a little easier on your viewers. Just. Throughout Clannad, Tomoyo and Sunohara, mostly Tomoyo, go along their high school lives helping out all the aforementioned girls and a couple of other people and you know, it's kind of a slice of life harem anime, but it's not edgy, which is great. It's not it's not super perverted, not a lot of uh, panty shots and fan service and that, not that, which is great. And I really, 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 really appreciate it for that, not taking the easy way out and using its writing and character development to progress the story and leave you interested. That's amazing. And honestly, Outside of just being kind of a slice of life thing, it doesn't sound that interesting. I understand that now that I'm saying it out loud to a camera. But the thing is, it's not just a slice of life. It also has humor, some really poignant moments with uh, certain characters like Fuko and Nagisa, and you know, it's good stuff. It's good. It left me interested. All right, cool. But the thing that makes Clannad awesome isn't Clannad. It's After Story. What's After Story and why? That's not a good question. After Story is literally after the story of Clannad. That's why it's called that. All right, good job. It follows Tomoya and all the others as they traverse the life after high school, as they try to get jobs, get married, have kids, do all that stuff. And it also destroys your soul? It's not like The Walking Dead. They don't just throw in cheap deaths on characters that you love just to hurt you to the point where you're kind of numb and you don't really care anymore but if they kill Daryl oh my fu no 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 it's much more subtle than that see what happens is everything hurts forever always not everybody dies not most people don't die there's there's some deaths I'm not gonna lie but for the most part they find new innovative ways to just destroy you and make you feel less than human make you feel like a crying puddle of tears make you feel sad there's a lot of different things that they do that doesn't strictly rely on death or revolve around death that are just hurtful. I think with After Story, what they did is they said, we have a really good basis with Clannad, we have interesting characters, but not enough tears. They took everything good about Clannad and they interjected it just with all the tears. What? Why? Why is, why is this? So what's left is basically a really heart-wrenching and to-the-point story. It's very concise for being only 24 or 26 episodes, but they decided to go ahead and give it a couple OVAs and a movie just for the hell of it, which, I mean, it's fine, you know? Clannad, the main story, is very succinct. It's very wrapped up, it's very tight. It's a nice little bowed up package, mostly leaning towards humor and uh, kind of slice of life, I would say, with a little bit of kind of that poignant interdevelopmental relationship stuff. That's really, really good, and I mean, it works for the show. After Story, takes all that and takes it to the 10th degree. There's still some humor. There's still a lot of interdevelopmental relationship stuff. So taking all that into account, you have two kind of separate animes that are sort of one 
anime. And I know I'm not being super specific, and it's like, well, what is this about? All you're saying are tears and interpersonal, and this is this what anime review? This is what it's going to be. This just you rambling, nonsensical crap. No, no, that's not going to be it. And it's just, it's hard to get into Clannad or After Story without revealing a lot of spoilers. I mean, in the first series, Tomoya could go like, six seven different ways he could end up with like six seven different people or not end up with them so to specify anything more in after story would kind of be spoiling it beyond the point of return it would make it so you wouldn't want to watch clanad because by spoiling after story by telling you things that happen in after story it would kind of spoil the whole thing it would definitely spoil the ending of clanad what i will say is the animation's great hero animation did a great job transferring the visual novel feel to kind of the anime feel and giving all these characters different personality traits and different hair colors. Okay, they, they, didn't, they didn't do that part. But, um, yeah, the animation's good. The sound quality is fantastic. Uh, it's got a good soundtrack. The sub is great. I love the voice actors from the sub. I like, I pretty much love everything going on with the sub. The sub's fantastic. I mean, there's, there's no complaints there. The dub? <sighs> mm. Mm-mm. 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 So all in all, I would consider this to be an anime of a higher echelon, just something a mark above the rest. And I know I didn't give a lot of specifics about what it's about. You're just kind of like, oh, it's some guy surrounded by girls in high school and then after stories, what happens after that? But the thing is, to describe it any further would kind of ruin it. I don't know how to not spoil this one. Sorry, I know it's the first review, but just watch it. Just, just watch it. Go stare. Stare at it with your eyeballs and your earballs. Stare. Just stare. If you've ever been in a tension or anything of that nature, then you're probably going to like it. In all honesty, it's it's pretty good. It has a couple of action-y moments, mostly regarding humor. But for the most part, I mean, it's it's a really good anime. I, I liked it. I liked it a lot. It's funny. Sunahara got kicked a lot. Kicked. There's that. So if you like this video, go ahead and click the annotations down there. Those little guys. Yeah, click them. Just click them. Taking my other stuff. This is one video. They're all, all three. They're one video. I got one video on the channel. It's not this one. I got one more. All right. Go this way.